Hi guys, uh, we are in the demo session of Oracle Golden Gate 12C Essentials course uh, exclusively from Oracle. So in this demo session, we are going to actually see, you know, what is this course going to cover and what mode of trainings are available for this course. And we are going to uh, go in deep of uh, the concepts and uh, the topics that we are going to learn throughout this course. And I'll also show you, you know, uh, the way that we get the hands on from this course. So this course will purely, you know, concentrate on explaining you the architectural concepts of Oracle Golden Gate. So we are going to use uh, 12.2.1.2 is the Oracle Golden Gate version that we are going to use in this training module. And, uh, you know, we are going to see what exactly uh, the Oracle Golden Gate configuration looks like. And we are going to configure a few of, uh, you know, in every training session. So we are going to configure an example and then we are going to get a real hands-on feeling of Oracle Golden Gate in this training module. Okay, so uh, before we actually step into a demo session of how Oracle Golden Gate replication works, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try to actually show you what are the concepts that we are going to cover through this training module and so that, you know, after that we will go forward with the uh, example. Okay, as you guys see on the screen, uh, this is only the first course from the Oracle on Oracle 12C Golden Gate. I call it as Essentials. Uh, this particular course uh, mainly covers two important topics. One is architectural understanding of Oracle Golden Gate uh, along with the real-time examples. It is not just the concepts. We are going to get the real-time hands-on examples as well. And the second part of this course is the management pack. It's a web console for your Oracle Golden Gate 12C. So we are going to see that, you know, uh, how a management cap, uh, management pack can help you as an Oracle DBA to administer all the Oracle Golden Gate instances on a web console. You can think that this management pack is a substitute for Oracle, uh, you know, Enterprise Manager OEM. So very similar to that, you have a web console for Oracle Golden Gate as well. We call it as management pack or it is also called as Oracle Golden Gate Monitor. Okay, so this is at a very high end level. What is that we are going to cover in this particular training module? So let us go through uh, what are the contents that I have covered through this course. So before that, you know, just to introduce myself, I'm Kumar uh, being an Oracle DBA and architect for since uh, nine years now. So as you can see on the screen, um, we are going to follow a step by step process in learning this Oracle Golden Gate 12C module. So in which in the first chapter, we are going to learn setting up the servers. You know, we are going to set up two servers, uh, two Linux servers where one server, we are going to use it as source and another server, we are going to use it as target. And most of us probably know the Golden Gate is a replication tool. That means Golden Gate will help us replicate the data from one database to another database in near real time. That means as soon as you see the changes happening on one database, you will see the changes replicated on the another database with a very considerable amount of lag in place. So that is the reason I call it as near real time. And we can make it very, very real time as well with the help of integrated capture and integrated apply processes, which you will be learning in this course anyway. So in the first chapter, we are going to set up the servers for our exercises because I believe in real time experiences along with the conceptual understanding. So we get the uh, you know servers ready in the chapter number one. In chapter number two, we are going to install Oracle Golden Gate 12C softwares. And uh, because this is the software which is core for the complete replication solution that we are going to build with the help of the Oracle Golden Gate software. And in the third chapter, we are going to see the architectural concepts of Oracle Golden Gate, which includes understanding what are the different components available in Oracle Golden Gate software and what is the purpose of each component of this Oracle Golden Gate software. And, you know, we are also going to see the uh, terminologies which are involved in Oracle Golden Gate administration, like process groups, replicate process, extract, and then, you know, data pump. You know, there are certain terminologies that you need to basically get familiar with uh, if you wanted to get your hands on Oracle Golden Gate 12C. We're also going to use Oracle Wallet in this course. So you will be now, you know, familiar with Oracle Golden Gate Wallet as well. It is not Oracle Golden Gate Wallet. It is just Oracle Wallet. So it comes as a, you know, uh, internal component as the Oracle Golden Gate software, 
you can start using wallet also in this course so i'm going to explain you uh, probably in the chapter number four or five how to create a wallet entry and how to use credentials from the oracle wallet okay that is what we are also going to cover and then in the fourth chapter i called it as you know oracle golden gate wireframe where we are going to basically see uh, whatever components we have learned in chapter number three all those components i am going to connect them in the form of a wire that is the reason i actually named this chapter as wireframe you will then understand you know as a flow how an oracle golden gate works with the help of all the components that we have learned in chapter number three and i'm also going to you know quickly introduce you uh, to certain important terminologies like initial load checkpoint integrated extract etc etc and in chapter number five we are going to basically configure oracle golden gate for oracle database to oracle database and just to you know uh, make picture clear this particular course will only help you train on oracle to oracle golden gate configuration that's it as i told you in the beginning of this session uh, i'm expecting a next course for oracle golden gate 12 co as well in which we are going to concentrate mostly on heterogeneous configuration that means from mysql to oracle how do we configure oracle golden gate or from sql server to oracle how do we deal so all these things i'm going to cover in the next course but not in this course so in this course we are going to purely cover the configurational concepts between oracle database to oracle database source will be oracle and target is also oracle so this chapter number five will give you a summary of what are the different things you need to perform to get the oracle to oracle configuration in place so we divided those things into four to five different parts and the first part is to preparing the environment that is what we are going to cover in chapter number five that is nothing but getting all the prerequisites available and in chapter number six we are going to basically uh, spend a lot of time on understanding the different ways of extracting the data from the source okay and in chapter number seven we are going to see how can i replicate the extracted data from the source onto the target so what are the different available options in the oracle golden gate you know components is what we are going to discuss in detail in chapter number seven and trail files are nothing but you know as soon as a transaction information is extracted at the source side it has to be stored in some file right so that that file can be transferred across the network to the target server that file we call it as trail files so in chapter number eight we are going to see what are the different types of trail files that oracle golden gate can create uh, each trail file will have a separate purpose of usage so you need to have a clear cut idea there so that is what we are going to see in chapter number eight all right so next in chapter number nine we are going to exactly begin our replication with the help of initial load so the initial load concepts is what i will be introducing you already in chapter number four or five so i'll be continuing a real hands-on experience or a real hands-on exercise here in chapter number nine and then chapter number 10 will deal with the complete data mapping data filtering etc and uh, the prerequisite functions which are available in oracle golden gate is what we are going to see in detail with the help of real hands-on exercises in chapter number 10 and 11th chapter will give you the other considerations like macros tokens user exits data compressions data encryptions all these things we are going to cover in chapter number 11 and please remember we are going to also get a real good hands-on on this so we are going to create macros and we are going to use them we are going to create tokens and we are going to use them very similarly we are going to, we are going to encrypt the data which is moving across the network so we are going to see that live and the 12th chapter will purely deal about a bi-directional golden gate configuration that is changes happening on the source being replicated on the target similarly changes happening on the target on the same object to be replicated on the source so how do we basically configure it what are the challenges involved in bi-directional configuration is what we will clearly see that in you know chapter number 12 and then from chapter number 13 to 15 okay we are going to see everything about the management pack as i told you management pack is very similar to the oracle golden gate enterprise oracle enterprise manager so we are going to see a management pack how is it helpful for your oracle golden gate instances we are going to learn what is oracle uh, management pack here golden gate management pack here its architecture is what we are going to understand in chapter number 13 and in chapter number 14 we are going to install 
the management pack on the third server. So we will be getting the third server in place and we will be installing the management pack there. We are going to configure the management pack and then start monitoring two servers which we have installed in chapter number one from a web console. And we are also going to see in chapter number 15, how do we manage all these hosts from a web console? How can you configure an email alert whenever you see a Golden Gate replication going down in case if you wanted an email alert to be pushed into your inbox? How do we configure it? And what are the different activities that you can perform from a web console is what we are going to see in chapter number 15. Okay, so this is, you know, these are the contents that we are going to cover as a part of this course. Uh, but you know, as I told you, I'll show you a very good, you know, uh, feeling, a look and feeling of this course, how we do a real time uh, hands on, you know, exercises in this course. So just to help you guys understand the way that we learn uh, on the screen, I have my two servers. Aura SRV1 server is my source database server. Aura SRV2 server is my target database server. So what I did uh, prior to this session is I created a demo capture process and a demo replicate process. I'll show you what is that. So as you see on the screen, this is on my source. Basically, I'll create an extract process to extract the transaction logs from database which is running on the server. So that is possible with the help of creating an extract group. So I'll show you what is the extract group that I have created. So the extract group that I created is the name called W group one. I just created for an exercise. So what is this extract group does is I'll also show you what is that it will do. If you just click on this, as you can see, this particular process group, which I created in Golden Gate command line console will capture all the transactions happening in the table called T1 underscore tab, which is part of system schema. Okay. So it will keep capturing the changes happening in this table and it will send to a remote server called as Aura SRV2. And the file name that it will create on the remote server is this. Okay. So just to help you guys understand, we are going to extract the changes happening on this table from this source database. And I'm pushing them directly onto the server called Aura SRV2 and into this location. Okay. So this is what you need to basically remember at this moment. Now on my destination, I have the target database running. And I have a replicate process which is running on the server, which I just created, not running. So I call that as replicate process group. And the process group name is RW group one. So if I have to show you what is this uh, process group doing as, as and when I receive the changes from Aura SRV one server, I'm telling that run them on my destination server with the same table name, with the same schema name. That means whatever changes you are receiving from the table called system dot any table name, map it to the same table name on this destination server is what I just created on my target server. Please do not worry if you don't understand all these concepts, but just I'm helping you guys understand for this demo purpose only. So this particular course will cover in detail of how to create these process groups. What are these process groups, etc., etc. So just as a syntax, I need to start the extract process. Okay. On my, um, uh, source and I should see that, you know, uh, this is running info extract W star. So I can see the status as running. I have also created here, right? I need to start the replicate. So if I say this info replicate R star, it is also running. That means according to this configuration, whatever changes are happening to the table called T1 underscore tab are being extracted by this process. And whatever changes are being received on the server is being applied onto the target database using this process. So this is the reason why a golden gate is a complete solution. You're extracting transactions from, you know, using this process and you're applying transactions using this process. So let us see in real time, how is this happening? Okay. So let me connect to the database and perform some transactions on this table. And I should see that the transactions are replicated. Okay. So before I perform the transaction, let me check what is the current count of the table called T1 underscore tab. So the current table count 
on this database that is source database is 4 so let me check the same here it is also 4 so what I'll do is I'll insert few you know records here insert into system dot tab select star from dba underscore tables where uh, owner is equals to uh, dbs nmp just as an example so it created 20 rows now as soon as I commit I'm sure on my source database the total number of records will be 24 okay but now this 24 records should be visible on my target database as well that is what I have been saying right as you scroll up I told you that this particular process group will extract the transactions in the table and uh, this particular process group will apply those transactions onto the target database now if I am correct this 24 rows should be visible on my target as well right let me check that see here I can see the 24 rows replicated onto my target this is the one of the simplest solutions that I am showing you on the screen as a part of the demo but you will be learning how do you configure these things you will be learning you know uh, what are the different ways in the configuration because I have just shown you a parameter file right but what is the meaning of each and every syntax that is given in the parameter file you should know all these basics concepts so we are going to cover all of them as a part of this course and then you I am from this course you are going to become a uh, intermediate level golden gate expert I should say for homogeneous configuration anyway for heterogeneous configurations and performance level issues there is a next course which would be coming up on Oracle for Oracle golden gate you can stay tuned for that okay so yeah this is the part of the demo so in case if you are interested you know in this demo part you can definitely reach us so in case if you wanted to reach us you can either you know go to the website and submit your enrollment or you can ping me on whatsapp this is my whatsapp number you can find this whatsapp number on my website as well and in case if you wanted to drop me an email directly you can directly drop an email at enquiry at oracle.com we'll be happy to you know reply for your queries and then you know you can take it forward from there I'll just you know get these things in certain order so that you feel comfortable yeah these are the coordinates where you can reach us uh, feel free to reach us in case if you are interested to take this course from us alright okay thank you very much bye bye